Oh, hello everybody. Welcome back to A Matter of Murder. We're off for Modus Operandi, case file number four. I've tried this one several times and I keep getting it wrong. So God knows when they will get this one right. <laughs> it could be a very, 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 very long time. So often weekend house parties run the risk of being boring, of boring one to tears. This one... Uh, Sorry, one should really do something entertaining with their weekend. Shockingly, Harris von Pinch has been murdered in a billiard room. Seizing the opportunity, you spend the evening alone practicing your oboe, of course. Notwithstanding investigating, uh, this matter seems to be rollicking good time. Make haste, as Arthur Connell Doyle said. The game is afoot. Oh, oh, oh. So let's dive to the billiard room. Can I examine the bomb? The body, you can tell that Harris von Pinch must have been bludgeoned with a blunt instrument. Okay. So a blunt instrument will not mean the rope. You're not going to be bludgeoned to death with a rope, are you? Uh, the piano wire is for strangling, so that eliminates that. A knife would stab you. An axe would stab you. A poker would stab you. So immediately we're down to four, which is good. So let's... Speak with Princess mm -hmm. Lamb. The princess squints at you as she doesn't like what she sees. You've quite the nerve, but you can check with Major Thomas, who is in the parlour tonight altogether. for an alibi. Uh, the ward holds up a doll pretending the doll is talking. We're in the trophy room of Airman Penelope. The doll just sounds disturbingly like Winston Churchill. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in the drawing room with Airman Penelope. Now what was with Pestiferius? Oh, now we've already got people saying the wrong thing. Let's dive into the notebook. Because those two conflict, so we need to dive to wherever Em and Penelope is. Yo, girl. Why is we've done a more in the drawing room? Right, so Ward Constance is already wrong. So, if we go to our checklist, we know... Ward Constance is wrong. Uh, Fancing around the small blunt bat is heavy to handle. Huh? Based on the splatter patterns and the rate of congealment, I'd say we're looking for a small weapon, sire. Right, so that gets rid of the ore. So we're down to three there. Hmm. So let's go about the motive. Everyone knows that Princess Lan was jealous of Harris von Pinch as a compliment. That doesn't really matter for us, does it? Uh, we do want... Emma Penelope has been blackmailed. Was she? Major Thomas's wardrobe. Major Thomas was quite insane. Well, that doesn't matter to us, does it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, have we asked you about the weapon? Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. The instrument in the killer used in a snip was surely a very heavy one. Okay. So when we look at what is small, heavy and blunt. Mm 
Have we just found the crick that it's the cricket bat? That could be the hammer though. The candlestick will be light, surely. So it's down to those two. Uh, right, we need to speak with Major mm. Thomas about motive. Ah, the sport of kings and Ward Constance. Uh, Ward Constance had a vendetta against Okay. So it won't be love, it won't be insanity. Now vendetta, does that then become revenge or hatred or jealousy? That's quite a difficult one to kind of pin under motives, I think, in my opinion. So, come on, phone. Vendetta. Go on, wiki. A blood feud in which the family of a murdered person seeks vengeance. So, revenge. Okay. I, th I think that's open for interpretation. So, that becomes revenge. Now, we just need to play with the hammer. And it's light. I think we've got it. Ward Constance, Cricket Bat Revenge. Let's accuse this little child. As you gather, the constable Bobby arrives at the estate just in time for your dramatic reveal. Everyone looks at you, begins to recount what happened. When the evening began, Harris from Pinch was in the billiard room playing a solo game of darts. Knowing what they had to do, the killer grabbed the kick it back on the way to Harris von Pinch. They had wanted to hold revenge for years. Seemingly unobserved, the murderer slipped into the billiard room to face their rival. Splat. <laughs> Nonetheless, the murderer is still in attendance here tonight, and the person who killed Ares von Pinch is... From the horns, <laughs> shift awkwardly from foot to foot, and sure, you think I did what? Well, I didn't do anything. You explain how Ward Constance lied about the alibi at the time of the murder by claiming to have spent the evening with Em and Penelope. <gasps> <gasps> so I suppose it wouldn't do me any good. If I tried to pin the blame on my dull Mrs. Pick Mrs. Pickles, <laughs> the ward scared annoyed. And to think I almost got away with it. Excellent work. Your investigation went splendidly. You apprehended the murderer and accused correctly. A wondrous display of intellect. We did good. That is the easiest playthrough that I've had of that. So in the two to three times that I tried before getting it correct, a second person had always died, and I think they they had died before they could give me the information about being like a heavy or a light object, because it was always I was always down to like one or two objects remaining, and I was like, mm, damn it! So, yay! Well done, me. Catch you next week for more murderous victims. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music, and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.